Yo, what's up, YouTube? It has been a while since we played TCM. And honestly, it's not even TCM's fault. It's because DBD had a double XP event and I was trying to get Zarina to P100, which we did. But now if you haven't seen it, TCM has did a dev stream where they announced a bunch of new stuff coming towards the end of the month. Now I'm gonna go through the whole list here. They tweeted it out on this long old tweet. I'll link it in the description below. And I'm gonna go through, tell you my thoughts on things, what I'm excited for, and that's about it. Also, we are extremely close to 15,000 subs on here. So if you could be so kind, leave a sub, please. So first, they're going to be dropping a single player mode, but that's going to be like way down the line in the future. Also, they teased a shirtless Johnny skin, which is crazy because that just proves if you ask for stuff enough and you ask nicely, the devs can make it happen. So I guess that's a W too. They said more news and gameplay from the two new characters within two weeks. Two weeks! That is what we like to see. And more family cosmetics within 60 days. Now this started off with a bang. I'm gonna go through some of these a little quicker because they didn't touch on them too much. They just kind of said it's coming eventually. They got environmental kills. They got earnable content through progression. New character, unique perks, voice lines, more lore and background. New mechanics that were cut from the behind the scenes videos and more long-term content planned. Now let's get into the really insane things. Leatherface will not be required to start anymore. Now a lot of people in chat were freaking out because they don't understand how this one's actually going to work neither do i because you need bubba to break crawl spaces you need him to break the bubba breakable so that you it won't be an infinite against some characters and also how the gameplay is going to change not having that that character that can just one shot you and it's going to be interesting how they end up finessing this but i'm excited because it's, it's just a change it's just something that you know probably on paper when they were coming up with the game they said yeah everybody's gonna want to play bubba like you know everyone loves this dude it's his game but sadly that's just not the case sometimes you sit in a lobby for like 10 minutes just waiting on someone to switch we have all been there so let's wait and see how this change comes out but in my book right now it's a w it's also going to be new escape methods for the future maps which is really really cool because we're all sick of just battery generator valve and fuse like learning something new learning a new escape route would be really really good for the game right now and then also in-game currency to purchase content for all the free to play players or the people who just can't you know really afford to get new skins all the time this one will be a huge w for them and another one you guys know I'm really, really excited for, of course, is the raising the max level cap from 99. And I am so thankful for this one. During the double XP, I have an account that's literally 55, I think, because I was so bored of just playing on my max 99 account. And in games like this, where a lot of the gameplay is repetitive, you need something to grind for all the time. Once you get all the perks, once you max out everything, you need something to keep going. And them raising the level cap and raising the XP it takes to get to each level after that cap is honestly just a great move. Now, there's a lot of other changes. And like I said, I will link that tweet below. If you guys want to read it and check it out yourself, they also got a link to the live stream VOD so you can watch the devs and hear them talk and see their faces and stuff. But the last change that I'm really, really looking forward to is they said we'll get regular patches every 30 to 45 days. Now, in my opinion, as long as something isn't extremely broken in the game and you just got to deal with that until the next update rolls around, 30 to 45 days isn't terrible. But in between that, I hope they just continue to acknowledge the problems and what's wrong with the game and what they need to work on. Like I know as a dev, it's not easy to just fix every mistake because there's always going to be mistakes in games. But I think one of the most positive things that a dev can do in a game like this, especially where you don't have that luxury of just updating like every week, like something like old oh, Fortnite used to have is just keep listening to the reports and just keep acknowledging the problems. There's nothing worse than feeling like there's a problem in the game and feeling like the devs don't don't realize it. I mean, we know they do, but like just just hearing them like, hey, guys, we know we need to work on this and it's going to be changing we give you a time frame in which this will probably change but trust us we're going to change it and the people at gun interactive so far have done a pretty good job at doing this there was a little bit of like a, a, a dry part where they uh we really didn't hear much and really didn't see much or get much but you know that's in the past now and what we as a community have to do is make sure we are reporting every single bug exploit or problem with the game we play the game way more than them so 
us keeping them in the light of what's going on while we're playing is going to ultimately make the game better for everyone now those are the biggest changes that i'm looking forward to hopefully you guys feel the same let me know in the comment section below what is the biggest thing that you're looking forward to and how you're feeling about texas chainsaw massacre right now but until next time thank you for watching i'm tony and i'm out